Hey all, welcome back to my MHQ2 build. This is the 3D printed quadcopter designed and released by Hovership. So I'm on to attaching the top of the dirty section. There's some standoffs here that kind of fit into those holes and then it bolts onto there, feed some wires through. Got some rubber dampers here which go into the big holes. Into the big holes here. And the clean section mounts onto that. Now the instructions basically say, there are instructions, you can find them on Hovership.com, uh, it's a build guide. The instructions say to attach this and feed the wires and then put the rubber dampers on. Um, excuse me, I'm going to put the rubber dampers on first. So, well, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and attach all this together and we'll be back in a minute. It's looking good so far. Looking good. So these are... 18 millimeter, these are 18 millimeter screws, these are 20 millimeter screws. Um, uh, it's you got to make sure you're using the right screws, otherwise, you run out and things don't fit. All right, back in a mo. All right, that wasn't too bad, went on all right. I tell you though, if I've got those all the motors wired backwards, it's gonna suck because I'm gonna have to take the whole damn thing apart. It's feeling pretty good, it's definitely feeling solid. So, um, yeah, I mean, it definitely feels good. So the motors are attached, all the screws are in and tight. Those are uh, ready to receive the clean section. It's going well. It's going very well. A lot of little zip ties holding things together. Too bad I don't have blue zip ties. The ESCs, I got... Uh, I put little marks on the ESC so I know where to plug them in. So that's three, one, two, and four. Uh, that's APM. One, two, three, and four. Counterclockwise, and then these two are clockwise. Hopefully, I got them right, man. I got them right. All right. So what's the next step? If we look at the guide. The next step is to um, attach the clean section. Looking forward to that. The clean section, the bottom lower of the clean section, sorry, I'm not pointing my camera very well, is this bit. This goes right on here. Some standoffs, and then that goes on. Uh, and then I'll actually, before the top goes on, I've got to uh, uh, install a bunch of electronics. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing clipped on, and we'll be back in a moment. Well, that wasn't hard at all. So there it is, the beginning of the clean section. It's kind of held on there with the rubber dampers. That's it. That's the only connections on there. So next up is to start installing some electronics. I've got the APC or the APM right here. Fits perfectly under these uh, standoffs. I've already uh, mounted it and made, uh, when I tightened these up, made sure that it was going to fit. So I've got to mount that, and then I've got a few other electronic bits and uh, things to mount onto here or onto the top plate. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm just going to test fit, move a thing, some stuff around, try it all out, see what fits where, and then zip tie some stuff down and uh, we should be just about finished. It's a very easy build except for that first plate. Uh, getting everything in, the ESCs and the power distribution board, and then getting that next plate on top without squishing anything is a bit of a challenge. you got to be careful, take your time. But it's a good kit so far. I'm really enjoying it. Okay, so let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get some electronics installed, and uh, we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so I've got some uh, connections made. I hooked up the ESCs. I hooked up my receiver. I then went through and hooked up the APM to the computer, uploaded the firmware, went through all the calibration steps and everything, and did all of that, the GPS, accelerometer, everything, So guess what happened? <laughs> I've got two motors spinning the wrong way. This Telemetry one, lost. yeah, yeah, yeah. This one and this one. Telemetry for some recovered. reason, they're all spinning the same direction, and I don't Telemetry get that. Lost. Shut up. Because Telemetry I did. Recovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did in fact wire two of them backwards or cross connected. So I don't get why they're all spinning the same direction. They really shouldn't be. So it's weird. But yeah, so now I've got to take all this apart and uh, reconnect my motors the right way. I'm very sad about that. But they are spinning, so everything works. 
Um, I've got the radio set up with all its flight modes and everything already. Altitude, hold. Loiter. Stabilize. Um, yeah, I know you don't really need that stuff for GPS because this is supposed to be an FPV racer, but whatever. Um, I've got all the stuff I'm going to use and I'm going to have fun. So I'm going to go ahead and take it apart and um, re uh, change those these two motors around that are spinning backwards. Um, and then I'll be back in a bit to continue on. All right, later. All right, I'm back where I was about an hour and a half ago. Um, I've taken it all apart. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Can't have it that close. <laughs> so I've taken it all apart. I uh, untaped everything. I set the two wires on these two motors out here. Put it all back together. And we're good to go. It's got a bit of vibration to it though. I'm a little disappointed. Yeah, that's it. That's right. <laughs> okay, so now all I gotta do is uh, finish mounting the receiver, the onboard telemetry uh, transceiver, the micro OSD, the GPS, and the video transmitter. So, still a lot of work to do. Hopefully, I'll finish this tonight, though. Okay, be back in a mo. Actually, you know what? I think this is a good time to uh, end this video. Got a lot of work done on it. Took it all apart. Got a lot more work done on it a second time. So I think I'm happy with the progress now. Um, I don't know where that vibration is coming from. I hope it's just this tape that I put on is making it give it that vibrations. I really do. Let's, uh, let's actually find out. Okay, um, I really hope it was all that tape that was just causing the vibrations. Okay, armed. Oh yeah, good, it was just uh, no vibrations. Whew. <laughs> Boy, that tape can really throw it off. These things are highly balanced. Okay, I uh, will see you. I'm going to call this video an end, and I'll see you in the next part when I've got the next bit going on. Back in, uh, in the next part. See ya.